This is Missy the Party Doll, and I am here to interview Lynn Roundtree for Urban Influencer. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you, Missy? I'm doing well with all these bells and whistles and everything else going hey, on. It, 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 te technology rules the world, so I, it, you know, it does. I, we all get it. We all that doesn't even bother us anymore. <laughs> Well, I want to thank you for taking out your time and your busy schedule because you got so much going on. You guys. Likewise. Appreciate it. Thank you for having me. But we definitely want to get someone like you on and um, just to kind of get people um, acclimated to Lynn Roundtree. Um, right now you are, if, if I'm correct, you're still number one on Billboard. No, not, not, not still. Um, I, you know, if, in, in your mind, I, you know, I could be, <laughs> but you know, the billboard chart ebbs and flows. I, I did a good run on the charts. I think I was on the charts for uh, 13 weeks, 14 weeks. That is and, a good uh, run. And uh, I had a good run. It was a really good run. But uh, now we're looking forward to the next single that will be popping off uh, actually next month. Uh, it's a really, okay. really strong single. We re feel really good about it. So um, we'll be looking to be back, back, back in that rare air, top top airspace on the billboard. Okay. All right. So Lynn Roundtree, six solo projects. Now first seven. One. Oh, okay. Where the seven? Where when does seven. seven come in? I, I, well, I just got the last mix back uh, today. And, okay. Uh, so, oh, so this is deal. like a first. We're like yeah. breaking. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to talk about the seven projects. So, so we talk about the seven project or should we... About the seven. No, we okay. can talk about the seventh project, but we can talk about everything you had planned to, okay, to talk about. Okay, all right. So, because that's that's like a new one. You just yeah. sprung that on us that you just yeah. finished your project. But yeah. the last project that you just did, that you have six albums. Well, I, I like saying albums. I'm still in that era. Six yeah, albums. Hey, look, that's good. Everybody knows what that is. Okay. And you had 16 chart toppers, two and number one. Uh, one of them was yep. an ex a billboard, which really is a big thing. And people need to understand that being on billboard is like huge. Um, 13 weeks with fluid. And you also had let it ride in 2018. Well, no, I was past the group. Past the, okay. Past the group. I got, I got that wrong. I yep. picked that up. Let it ride is a dope song though. Let it ride is a dope song. We never even put that, that one out as a single, but uh, that's one of the dopest songs I got. I wish we had. Okay, well, they whoever put that out there, they had Let It Ride. <laughs> Confirm that, 2018. <laughs> so the background, let's talk about the background of Lynn Roundtree. Because mm -hmm. you got, you know, what people don't know, you went to, well, no, they do know. You went to HBCU. To HBCU, FAMU, Florida a, a University, good, it, down in Tallahassee, Florida. It, Go Rattlers. It's a good school. It's a, it's a good school. It's a great um, school. I know, I know where you're coming from. With <laughs> it's a good school. They're, you know, they're actually, you know, we know that things are changing. So they're going to be playing in the MEAC now, correct? They're going to be, well, they're going to be dominating. I mean, the SWAC, the SWAC. They're going to be dominating in the SWAC. We, we, we dominated the MEAC. We were too much for them. So we had to, had to come over some, for some fresh meat. <laughs> okay okay yeah Gra yeah grambling yeah fresh um, that's, uh, aka fresh meat oh okay we, we gonna, <laughs> we're gonna stick with that um but i i would love to i would love to see the camaraderie between mm -hmm. fam you and grambling i think that would be an excellent um, oh absolutely game. absolutely they're cor cornerstone hbcus mm -hmm. it's always a good time is rivalry is all fun and jest because um we share so much more uh, than we than 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 we oppose. So mm -hmm. so the, the opposition is just lighthearted, but uh, we share in 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 in, in black excellence and, yes. and education and uh, the foundations of uh, uh, historically black colleges and universities. So this wasn't even my question, but being that we got there, I'm going to ask you this question: How did being in the band prepare you for now being the band well I, it was so 
such an eye-opening experience when I graduated mm -hmm. uh, high school uh, in, in the Washington, D.C. area. Of course, you know, people that grew up around, you know, the bands down south were familiar with, um, with how, they, how they flowed and, and the, the different nuances of, of how, to, how to join and be a part of the band. I didn't know anything. All I knew is I was going to a premier university. Mm -hmm. um, I was happy. I was proud. I was telling everybody, yeah, I'm going to FAMU and, you know, <laughs> FAMU the best, the greatest. And everybody was like proud, had a little party and, you know, getting all the gifts. And I get down there two, three weeks early. They slap a white t-shirt on me and say, hey, your life has changed forever. Don't yes. think, you know, don't, don't think this is fun and games at all. In fact, you may want to quit. And, and, and I certainly wanted to quit the next next couple of days, all the stuff we had to go through. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but after we got through that that first week of, of the initial shock, um, I, I, I understood what they were preparing me for. And not only preparing me for just being a part of the band and, and excellence, and, uh, and they were preparing, preparing me for, in hindsight, life. Yes. So when you ask, what, what did they prepare me for? Well, you know, the practicing. Um, get it right until you got it. Uh, do it again until you get it right. Um, and that's what they kept on stressing. Um, every week, you know, it wasn't given to us that just because we, we made the band that we were going to march every week. I mean, right, oh, yeah. You, you had to, you know, it's called shake the tree, you know, so mm -hmm. they, had, they put you out there uh, to do the dance routine and do everything you had to do and play at the same time every week in front of the entire band uh, in order to, 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 to get on the, on the field that, that weekend. So everything was always, there was nothing given. Everything yes. was always, you had to work hard for it. Work, work, work. We were sweating, sitting on the patch, hours and hours, getting bit up by mosquitoes. And it was just, you know, and, and the, the, the reward was being able to put the 50 pound uniform on uh, and march uh, at breakneck speed, uh, you know, uh, and then march and doing a whole show, doing, doing a whole halftime show with, you know, over 25, 30,000 people screaming, uh, and, and, you know, you're, you're, you're nervous and scared and that was the reward. So, yes. <laughs> so it prepared you because it's mm -hmm. the same thing I feel now, you know, when I'm doing shows and, you know, I want to do shows, I want to do all the festivals I can, but you know, it's a lot of work, you know, this show that I've got coming up tomorrow. I mean, I haven't done a big show like this, a 90 minute show in over a year. So wow. um, I'm anxious, I'm nervous. Um, I'm practicing every day. Uh, I'm trying to go through the show. I'm trying to remember how things went because, you know, it's not clockwork anymore. We haven't done this thing. I don't know how right. all of this is going to go. And am I going to be strong enough for a whole, you know, no, a whole 90-minute um, uh, show? And, and all of that comes from my, my training at Florida A&M. Right. And, you know, we're hey, look, be I, able to do it. I know we're going to be able to do it. I know mm -hmm. we're going to pull it off. I know, you know, I'm, I got down there, but, hey, I got people that are paying to see me. And I don't want to let them down. And I know the, what I can do. And I just want to be able to live up to that and exceed that. And so, yeah, that's what FAMU, you, you know, um, helped help teach me uh, how not to be complacent, how to be, um, how to be respectful of the music, how to honor yeah. the music enough to be nervous and to be anxious and to want to do good and to want to make sure you do good by practicing, 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 practicing over and over and over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. I was listening to an interview um, of yours today. Um, and, and as you're, you're from, you live in Detroit at this, mm -hmm. at this time. Um, and one of the things that I was listening to is all of the other accomplishments that you have. Um, people may not know that you were in Sparkle. People mm -hmm. may not know that, <laughs> yeah. um, you, the, the last movie with the late, great Whitney Houston. A mm -hmm. lot of people may not know that, um, so I, I wanted to know what person have you performed with that you were like in awe? Oh my goodness, I can't believe that I am actually working with this person. Uh, that's funny because uh, I was just saying the other day that, and, and this is going to sound funny, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it, I was on stage, I was... I was kind of minding my own business, uh, going about my day, and somebody called me, asked that I want to do some horn parts for an artist that was coming into play at Shane Park, which is mm -hmm. our huge, is our big music venue here in, uh, in Detroit. It's now called the Aretha Franklin Center um, Amphitheater. And, uh, and I said, yeah, fine, cool. I don't, I don't know who it is. It ended up being Keisha Cole. Wow. <laughs> and so okay. I was nervous because I'm like, well, I'm not a hip hop person. And, <laughs> you know, what am I supposed to be doing? Or do I, do, what, what, are they, what does she want? Well, she wanted live instruments 
um, to play her her music. And she, mm-hmm. you know, she obviously had the, you know, I had never been, you know, I'm 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 an old hip hop head, so you know, I've been a lot right. of shows, but I've never been on stage with a hip hop artist. You know what I mean? I, I, and I had been so far removed from from hip hop like that or or hip hop. She's kind of hip hop. She's R and B, R and B, but <laughs> she brings that hip hop crowd. So I was so I was so far away from that. I was just so much in awe when uh, I was selected because we had to, to to put the horn parts together and then send her a video. And she's very hands-on with everything. So she mm-hmm. actually watched the video herself and said, I like that person. I like that person. I like that person. And then we're in sound check and she comes, I want to hear each person by themselves. And so it, wow. again, it took me back to the band, like, oh my gosh, you know, I, now I'm back in the band. I'm, uh-huh. I'm, you know, but this is, this is the beautiful Miss, Miss Keisha Cole, you know, doing this and listening to us. And she's like, I, I like what I hear. And, you know, and then we got on stage and I ended up playing a solo and she came and sat down. It's a great picture that I have. Uh, posted where she was actually sitting down on the riser, listening to me play, and uh, and and that that was a that was an interesting and great experience all all in one. I mean, you know, I never yeah. I've never seen so many subwoofers lot, uh, 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 stacked up on one stage in my life. <laughs> I mean, you know, you heard the bass; it was like, Whoa. I'm like, Jew, yes, this this is this definitely not smooth jazz or jazz concerts <laughs> that I'm used to, but. You know, this is uh, this is a heck of an experience, and uh, I'm I'm honored to have have been able to share the stage with her. Wow, that is awesome! I and I was sitting here, and I was like, really think because I've interviewed you you so many times before, but I was like, okay, I really want to dig into <laughs> who Lynn Roundtree is yeah, and yeah. stuff that people probably had not heard before about mm-hmm. you. The another question is, where were you when you found out that your songs hit number one? Oh man, um, I was well. The latest song, "Fluid," um, you kind of you kind of have a feeling that it's going to hit number one because it mm-hmm. gets to number two, and you start seeing the indicators on on all the other charts, like the USA Today has a chart, right. um, SmoothJazz.com. All these other indicators have charts, and you know, Smooth Jazz Network they all have me at number one, and so mm-hmm. I'm at number two on Billboard, and so your radio promoter will tell you. Well, look, we might get number one in the next couple of weeks if this station doesn't drop us, you know, because we've been okay. on this station for a long time. They might drop our spins. But then there's still a guy in in, in some state, I'm not going to name the state, but some Southwest state that mm-hmm. hadn't added you to this. Everybody else, you've gotten all of the billboard reporting stations and right. this guy hasn't added you. If this guy mm-hmm. would add you, you'd be number one by leaps and bounds. Right. Now you're, you're now you're only, you know, 10 spins off of number one. So we just got to hope that, you know, we can get a couple spins here, a couple spins there. And the week doesn't get weird because sometimes weeks get weird where stations drop off and, you know, you just get so much weird stuff that goes on when, when you're sitting at, num- not at number two or right. Number three, you're, you're vying for that number one. So it's almost like you're on pins and needles. And so I knew that the, that Monday is the day that, the report comes mm-hmm. out the chart is built up you, they don't announce it till wednesday but you your radio promoter will see you know if they've got the back back door stuff they they'll see the, the chart being built and they'll see where you are and so i said you know what i'm not even gonna worry about this you know it's it's, it's in the lord's hands um i've had a good run if i don't get it um you know i'm, I'm i've achieved something that most people have not um mm-hmm. so i'm happy and, and so I just said that to myself, even though inside I was like, I want number one, I want that number one. <laughs> I had to talk, my, I was talking, I have a conversations with myself. When, when I do that, I go work out. So where uh-huh. I was, I was actually um, on a bike ride. I had gotten into biking um, over the, uh, the quarantine. Uh, right. Got a nice professional bike and, you know, got the hat and the outfit and all this other <laughs> stuff. And so I was on, I was probably on my like 15th mile, um, mm-hmm. you know, had just crossed over one of my bridges and everything. And, and I was just riding all along and, and I heard the, the, the ding in my ear uh, and I couldn't stop to answer. But I, I kept hearing and I kept hearing. And I was like, I know that's Jeff calling. That's, that's my radio. Okay. My, uh, my label executive. He's also doubles as the radio promoter. I know that's him calling. I know that's him because I looked at the time. I was like, I'm not going to answer it. I'm going to be disciplined. I'm going <laughs> right. to keep riding. I'm going to keep riding. So I rode for another two or three miles. So I just couldn't. I jumped off. I looked at the message. It was Jeff. And he didn't leave a message. He doesn't like to leave messages like that. He wants to hear right. you and say, and say something. So I called him and, and he said, hey, man, you got a number one on your hand, brother. Congratulations. And so that's, that's where I heard that I had gone number one. 
Um, well, congratulations. The, yeah, yeah. The first time it was a blur. I didn't even, you know, I think it was because that was my first number one. Past the groove was my first number one. Mm -hmm. So I just didn't, I didn't know. And, you know, I was just happy and blessed to be at number two. And I think, I think that was, we released that song when you're not really supposed to release a song. We released it like in October. Most people kind of stay away from that because right. Christmas and every kind of kind of zones out. People are in and out of the office and it gets real weird. So we decided to just go ahead and release it because it was such a strong song. It took it, it took hold. But then the chart went silent. Um, nobody added anything for the holiday break. Right. So I was sitting at number five or six or, or maybe four for a whole month. That's un mm -hmm. that's kind of unheard of. So you're just like sitting at, in, in in stasis. You're like, right. okay, if I come, if yeah, they're, they're off. And then starting in January, you don't know if they're saying, oh, well, this song been on since October. We're going to just bring in the new music and just, you know, that's what you run the risk. Right. Uh, but that song was so strong when people came back, they said, you know what, let's let it run. Let's let it keep running. And that song ended up um, hitting number one, I think, right around February. So, I mean, that was a, that was a great new year for me to start the new year off right. Uh, and that stayed awesome. on the that stayed at number one for three weeks. So uh, that was a really strong, strong, strong first song, uh, first mm -hmm. number one song. Well, hopefully there will be even more number ones coming your way. Fingers Especially crossed. Especially with I'm, this next project that, you, this, that this you're going to share with us. We've got some good stuff on this project. I can't wait. I can't mm -hmm. wait. We got some bangers. I mean, so Fluid is on, it's the, the title track. The title of the, C, the CD is Fluid. It, is the, the, the title of my last single. So we just made it the entire, you know, the entire name of the, the whole album. So. Okay. Well, I want to go back to one CD and I, and, um, I've downloaded like all your CDs. So in the car while I'm driving, because I drive a lot mm -hmm. on one particular CD, this is the one that I play all the time. And it's uh, Getaway, Introducing oh, Valencia. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah so yeah. I play that when I say repeat, that one is on repeat. Mm -hmm. I love, so, I love that. I love that tune. That was my, I was trying to, trying to do a lot with, with vocals. We were just trying to figure it out. Mm -hmm. um, but Valencia has got a beautiful, beautiful voice. She's, she's not singing a whole lot uh, nowadays. Mm -hmm. uh, I think she went into veterinary medicine and she's doing some things with uh, some chemistry stuff. She's really, really smart. Graduated mm -hmm. from uh, University of Michigan, but she's got one of the most beautiful voices you ever want to hear. And, and, um, and I just wish she, you know, she, she hasn't lost that voice. So mm -hmm. we're, we'll, we'll solicit her uh, at some point to come come sing sing again. But that was just a special song. It was a song uh, written by myself, uh, Kevin Tubbs, Jeff Kennedy, mm -hmm. uh, Anthony Tolson, who's no longer with us. But uh, yeah, that, that's a great song. That. So if I was to ask you, what are your hidden talents that nobody knows about? What would it be? Uh, I am... I am good with, uh, I, you know, I, I, I work in, in, um, in home health care and okay. in hospice. And uh, I would say I'm good at helping people understand grief. Uh, okay, helping didn't... people get, get through, um, get through the inevitable reality um, mm -hmm. that we all have to face and are going to face, uh, but get with it, um, get, get through it with some sense of, um, of meaning and purpose and, uh, focusing on life rather than, than, than loss. Um, so that's, that's a talent. I don't know if you would call that a talent. Um, well, no, that's, that's, a, everybody it's can't an ability. That. Yeah. It's more of an ability. Um, mm -hmm. and you know, it's a God given ability that I didn't know I had until I lost my mother. Um, exactly. and I was put in that position, um, to see, you know, how, how people approach me. And I, I wasn't really happy with how I was approached and how things were explained to me about that process. And it happened so fast. I didn't want any, anybody else to experience that. So in my process of, of playing for, um, for uh, nursing homes and um, uh, our more aged population, um, I, I started doing that. And then I started doing it professionally as, as well. So mm -hmm. um, that's one of the things that not many people know that, that, that I do. Yeah, so I, like I said, I'm trying to pull some other stuff out. That, you know, people don't always talk about when it comes to Lynn Roundtree. Yeah. I, I just told you about the about the bike, and you know, I'm a bike. Yeah, I told you. See, I, and then and that's and, and then we got the we got the scoop on the, the seventh yeah. project. So we yeah. we so get your first first interview I've given to talk about this project because this has been so. I mean, it's such been such a weird year. Mm -hmm. uh, 
And, you know, we're, we were putting out projects every couple of years or so. Right. So it was like you put the project out, then you start getting the songs together for the next project. You know, once mm-hmm. all the singles and everything burn out. Um, and But this thing, everything kind of came to a halt. We were supposed to release it last year or try and, and get close to pushing it last year. And the label just kind of said, you know what? what's the use? What's the purpose? We're, you know, nobody's making, we don't have any resources, you know, it's kind of sit. So it's been so long that we've been sitting on all these songs and Mm -hmm. trying to put these things together and everything has been so it's been hurry up and wait because people are sitting around and they can do a lot of recording. So you get the recording done fast. Normally when you wanted to record, you had, well, I want this bass player on it, but he's out with, with Tony Braxton. So he, Mm -hmm. he not going to be somewhere stable to, to put it together. Oh, he'll be in in his, in his uh in his uh hotel room in japan and he's got his rig with it and he can do it now you got people at home you know that that'll put that stuff together go into a studio remote studio boom boom Mm -hmm. boom get it back to you but now you're sitting on this on the music right so i'm tired of listening to the cd all day i'm ready for everybody (laughs) to listen to it because i've listened to it a million times now i gotta listen to it a million times again we get the mixes back you gotta listen over and over and over that's why people say well when I get the songs back, I don't want to hear my songs anymore. We're on to the next one. We've heard these things a million times. But uh, the gratifying part is when you do get other people mm-hmm. to finally listen to it and, and, and hear it. So so what's the release date? Uh, the release date, we don't have a concrete date, but we know it's going to be in June. Okay. Be probably mid-June. We're going to release this, the next single. The next single is called Release, okay. uh, which is going to be. And and, and the, the name of the song, I named it Release because... Uh, the way the song flows, it's an upbeat, punchy song, mm-hmm. and uh, it, it, it's got some energy to it, and it just feels like, okay, now we're getting out of this COVID stuff, you know, we're starting to get people vaccinated, we're starting to get, you know, things opened up, um, and all of this built up energy and everything, with the music and all that stuff, boom, now we can release it. So that's why this next song is called Release, and it has kind of a, it, it takes you through, it's, it's only... It's only four and a half minutes, but it takes you through that, you know, then finally, boom. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, so what else should we expect on this, this project? And oh, by the way, um, I do want to uh, tell you that I had a discussion about you with um, the wonderful, talented Jeff Bradshaw about- That's my man. Team. Yeah. yeah I about saw you. Know, I saw that. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. So um, I definitely wanted to, because I was like, Oh my goodness, I, you know, I pulled down stronger and I was listening to it and I was like, I was really just mesmerized by Nights Over Egypt because that's like yeah, one yeah. of my Perfect. favorites that, you know, you just listen to. So that was one of those repeat songs. It's like, oh, I love mm-hmm. this. I'm just, yeah. So I was like, I did a <laughs> wonderful job on that. So yeah, yeah. Just, Jeff, yeah. Jeff and I had done some stuff uh, before this whole thing. We were actually talking about doing some more stuff together. Mm-hmm. We had done several shows and uh, just so, you know, and, and uh, realized, hey, look, we got some synergy, man. And he was like, hey, man, would you record on, my, on CD? I was like, sure, man, you know, just proceed over. And he said, oh, nights over Egypt. I was like, come on, man. You know, <laughs> nights over Egypt, come on, man. That's 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 a hit all day. I was like, yes. that's that's my vibe all day. Mm-hmm. So, so me and Marquel, Marquel. So, got the, so, got the, got the, oh, no, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was just going to okay. say, of course, that's in rotation at my station. So wow. that's one of those things I, I can do what I want to do. So I put that in and of course a couple of others. So good job. Good job Thank on you. that. Thank you. Thank so you. let's Thank talk you about for this. having me. Appreciate it. Oh, I appreciate y'all. As long as you play good music, I'm I'm there. I'm I'm loving it. So the seventh project, and and by the way, I know that you were a staunt advocate for people getting vaccinated. Mm-hmm. So I did get my first shot last monday all right all right all right waiting to get the next get my which one did you get now i got pfizer i did get the pfizer so that was the one i was like wanting over anything else i didn't want the moderna but yeah i got the pfizer but um you you got it and uh and the second one is going to be you know you might feel a little bit because that that means your body's actually you know working it's actually making Mm -hmm. the antibodies uh, for you and it's it's generating more so that's when people start to feel a little bit of you know maybe a headache or you know some some you know 
minor, mild flu-like yeah. symptoms, but it, but they they come and they go away. But that right. just means your body's your body's uh, doing what it's supposed to do. So, a, a interesting question is, what do you or are what are you taking away from 2020 COVID and putting into your music? Oh, more, more soul and more passion, I guess, you know, because life is so, you realize life is so precious. I mean, mm-hmm. you see it every day with, with yes. these, and my heart goes out to all of these people, people down there in Georgia who, uh, who, who lost their lives, senseless uh, act of violence, people just out in Colorado and, just all of the senseless violence that happens every day, even with our, within our community that doesn't get national attention. Um, and so many people have lost their lives over uh, this virus that, that to me was kind of mishandled by our government. But, mm-hmm. you know, that's, that's, that's neither here nor we don't talk about that. It's a different conversation. But, you know, right. but it's, it's just so life changing. And, you know, I think you and I, um, we we weren't like our her parents have gone you know every mm-hmm. generation has gone through something traumatic i mean you got the vietnam war was a reality for you know my parents and the civil rights movement was a reality i mean they walked down they they knew people and they saw every day who people who got lynched we don't know anybody yeah. who's, who's been lynched from a mob or anything or had their house surrounded and, right. and, and crosses burned in front yard. And we don't know people who've gone off to a Vietnam war. Now we had desert storms. Some people went off there, but I mean, the, the amount of people that were dying in the Vietnam war, we don't know anything about them before that. Mm-hmm. They had the, you know, the world war and the, all the assassinations that went on in, in the sixties, the prominent people. So, I mean, everybody has their generation and this is our, right. this is our generation. And, and you're going to hear it in the music. You're going to hear, this traumatic life altering period of time that we went through in 2020, um, you know, the, the, the unprecedented, you know, no toilet paper around. I mean, from, from that, <laughs> yes, from the toilet the paper to the, to the, you know, this year, if you imagine where we were this time last year, right? this moment going into March or going into April yes. last year, the streets look like, you know, something out of the, the walking dead, you know, I mean, it is, everything was empty and people were scared and people were walking around, you know, not knowing what was going on. And so, yes, that's what you're going to hear. You're going to hear all of that come out in everybody's music because yes. a, a lot of us just didn't have any, I mean, once we got out of our depressed and weird feeling and what is this and how many Netflix shows can we watch mode, we said, okay, I'm done. I've, I can't see any more Netflix. I, I watched all my series up you know, I, I sat yeah. around and watched all my friend, my, my my family, you know, all day, every day. Now let's let's get back to the music. Yeah. You know, let's get back to the music. I'm I'm over my depression at, at all having all of my gigs canceled, uh, all my yeah. shows canceled because you know you're going to every year. 2020 was going to be a good year. I had so many shows. I said, oh yeah, man, I'm booking all the shows and I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna be there. Started getting all my plane tickets, so I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna be there, and I can do this then. And I can do that then, and we'll do this and we'll all that stuff done and it shows you in the in a blink of an eye how things just boom and so yeah you you know all of that i just said you're going to see uh and hear in in the music you know more passion and more soul because you know life is short you don't you don't know you don't know when 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 the day is going to be your last so you got to put it on leave it all on the table amen amen you with all that i just forgot what i was going to ask you (laughs) (laughs) i'm sorry i give I get these long answers. I'm, I'm sorry. No, it was just I was I was there with you. I was I was in I was in the moment with you, yeah. um, because it it did change. It changed so much, and so so your um, your calendar is filling back up because now people you know people are ready to get back out. I know the streets are calling me. The streets are calling. The streets are always <laughs> calling you. You know that. You know they, that. They are streets definitely calling, calling me. So they I'm ready you. to go. They need, I, we I'm, need you. I'm ready. So, yeah. where are you going? You are, are is your is your party bus filled? I'm quite sure well, it is. No, well, you talking about for the uh, for the next? So I'm uh, talking about show. gigs coming up. Oh yeah, the, well, a lot of them aren't starting until people aren't real comfortable until around August, I guess, mm-hmm. just to make sure they're 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 out of the woods and people are, I guess, you know, enough people are vaccinated and you know they can safely pull off. Events. So all my August shows are starting to come back around. 
excuse me, some of the shows that I had booked last year are just rebooking. You know, they're just, okay, okay we're, we're going to get the same lineup we had last year. Um, so I've got something down in Panama. And yeah, I might be um, in Atlanta uh, in, in about a month. I know okay. St. James is doing their series. I, I was and, just I was just there a few yeah. weeks ago with Jeff Bradshaw. So with Jeff, yeah. Yeah. And so, so just, they've they reached out to me. So I, I believe it's just a matter of us working out a date. Um, so I will definitely let you know and okay. uh, definitely have, have you on and the And I promise I'll be there this time. <laughs> I promise That's it. That's I'll it. be there. One more chance. <laughs> Biggie, I, give me one more chance. No, I'm coming. See? I'm coming. I promise I will be there. Okay. So, all right. So, we got a seven right. project we'll fluid coming but yeah, out. But, uh, we got that tomorrow. Yeah. What are you saying? No, oh, I'm sorry. No, I was just talking no, I was about say tomorrow. I'm in. I'm in um, Where so are tomorrow, you I'm in Hilton Head, South, South Carolina doing okay. a show. Hilton Head, South Carolina. Yeah, and we're doing a show there. It's a full 90-minute Lynn Roundtree show, and um, uh, I believe it's sold out. People, you know, they they just started marketing it up, you know, about a month ago when they got the clearance, and already, mm -hmm. boom, it's all sold out. So we're, we're all good and excited uh, to be out. Uh, social distance show. But, right. yeah, it's all, it's all good. So looking I forward think, to it. I think people are like this. Hey, they open it up. I'm there. I'm, I'm and, and I can see, like, I'm people there. are, like, other things that are coming up people are like i'm tired of being in the house so maybe there will be a new appreciation for music and doing Absolutely. the things and actually Absolutely. living so i'm gonna now I'm you gonna, said something you really said something go ahead no so you said something there i was just agreeing oh yeah yeah i think people are gonna have a new appreciation so this is what i would like for you to do this is we're gonna wrap up your interview because again it's just we could talk for hours but I would like for you to tell people why they need to go and download all your stuff. <laughs> why, they need to, why they need to get on board with Lynn Roundtree if they have never heard him. They need to start listening to him and how they can get your music. Well, as I said, um, I'm thankful for all of you who have heard mm -hmm. just one of my songs. But, you know, I, again, um, I, I believe that I have music that that touches um, your soul. And uh, I've got a song for somebody out of all of the songs that I've, I've made. I've got a CD for somebody. So I would appreciate uh, everybody who would go out and at least check me out I mean, with all of the Apple Musics and, and everything that you have in the world. Uh, you can find me with just putting in my name somewhere. You can find me on Google Play, iTunes, um, uh, Pandora. I've got a station, Spotify. I've got a station. Wow. So, um, you, and then, you know, you can get in touch with me on my website at, at uh, www.linroundtreemusic.com. That's L-I-N, Roundtree with no D, music.com. And uh, from there, you can, you know, sign up for my, my newsletter, which I will start back again um, next week. Uh, okay. We'll start doing a monthly newsletter and uh, any special things that come along. We'll get a newsletter out to, to, to explain and describe those. And um, um, and then, you know, follow me on social media, Instagram, uh, Facebook. Uh, I don't have a TikTok yet. I've got I got my name out there. And I was actually thinking thing. that that song that I was telling you about, that should be a challenge. Now, which one? That should yeah, be a uh, getaway oh, challenge. Get away. Oh, yeah. That should, yeah, that should, that should that be a getaway challenge. I was like, that should be a challenge. That'd be awesome. Well, you should start it. Do it. I, I a, might have to do that. Do the silhouette challenge to it. Oh heck no! <laughs> <laughs> do do the buster challenge. Bust I don't it. know about that. I don't know about that either. But you want to know? I didn't know anything about it either till I saw. I saw actually saw one of my cousins, my little cousins doing it. I'm like, what is this? What is she doing? And she's like, bust it, bust it. I'm oh, like, oh lord, no. And I saw everybody doing. It. I'm like, okay, some people don't need to be busting. No, so. you don't. You don't need to be busting. It. <laughs> but you want to know what was interesting is when I um when I uh, uh uplift uploaded the um interview I did with you when you um actually performed for the King Day celebration, and I, oh, I said that you. I was interviewing you. My dad is a huge fan of yours. Oh. Bless him. My, my dad is a trombone player, so he was like, that little round tree is a bad boy. 
<laughs> bless his heart. Tell him to, to few the proud the the brass players. That's a yeah, tough, so he, it's a tough so community, but yeah. I didn't even know my dad knew who you were, but my oh, dad true. was like, Lynn, that's a bad boy. He went to FAMU, so my father yep. has definitely go. studied you. There you go. There and, you go. And and so I was like, okay, so I'm, that's I'm a good doing man something. There. I'm doing good something man. right. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank well, you. I want to thank you and please make sure that um, we we get all of your stuff. Absolutely. Uh, with Urban Influencer. And uh, can you just give Urban Influencer a shout out? You know what? Shout out to Urban Influencer. Uh, Missy E. Is that that's that's your that's your that's your handle. I'm Missy E the party doll. You know I'm Missy E. Yeah, party yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't know if you're Missy E or you want to be party doll. Or, all right, shout out. This is boy Lynn Roundtree, uh, the soul trump trumpeter, giving you a shout out. Urban influencer and Missy E the party doll in the house. Thank all you right. so much. Much love to you from your boy Lynn Roundtree. Peace, love, and soul. All right. Well, thank you so much. This is Missy E the party doll closing out with Lynn Roundtree. Please, please check this brother out.
Gods. <laughs>